<laughs> like, what even? Like, f*** you. <laughs> All right. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Back at it again. Okay. So I was thinking. I don't know. Loads of things have changed the world over the course of however many something if centuries that we've been on the planet. Right? Or since the calendar started, I should say. Right? Um... And obviously TV, radio, massive, massive, like influential changes to how we function. Um, But one really big one was the internet. And I think that has become such a crutch for our society, such a, um, such a big part of our society. Right. So, so I wanted to ask you the asking. question. Yeah. I wanted to ask you the question. Where do you think we would be if not if the internet didn't exist, but if the internet was never released to the public? And so, like, consequentially, we wouldn't have the World Wide Web to use. Like, we wouldn't have the internet to, to function on or develop on. So it would be your first question in that. As, as developer. Okay. Uh, if I were to break that down, I'd be like, where do you think we would see the biggest losses? Like in comparison to where we are right now, right? If you compared today, 2022, January, Mm -hmm. what day is it? 16th, right? Where do you think we would be right now without the internet being public? It would only be used in in, in government use. I mean, instantly the first thing that I reckon be like completely dismantled would be like online businesses, people's okay, yeah. level of communication, you know, that level of like globalization where you could reach anyone within the world within two or three seconds. Right. Like I could ping you and then in a second you got my message or whatever. I think that level of globalization would completely just crumble. Right. There would be losses like, almost everywhere right but i mean we'd still have mobile networks yeah but would you use mobile networks that much would you even get to communicate with people internationally like if you had to only use mobile networks i mean if that was the only mode of communication i guess we would i mean we're also assuming right that no one else created the internet since then it's just that it didn't basically exist to the public whatever like yeah, general. we're assuming globally we don't have the internet and therefore we don't have the World Wide Web. Yeah, so but what I'm saying is like offset, no one could have reinvented it or because mm-hmm. you mentioned the yeah. mobile no, things. No, no, no. It's so, just completely okay. up till this point in time, no. I think there would be much like there'd be like a much lower like level of development in certain industries, especially like you know, like games or like videos. Uh, art as well. I think that is. I think you probably have something to say on that because I feel like you feel strongly about art. Right. I mean, yeah, I feel like um, when it comes to reviews, when it comes to people's thoughts on on art, okay, take theater or sorry, cinema, for example, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think a lot of movies would be slaughtered necessarily nearly as hard as they do now because like people have the ability to go online and talk about it whenever they want and express their thoughts and immediately influence how other people think about it. Like you have an an instant mob mentality that you have whenever. I'm sorry. So you're like talking about like critiques and like that. No critiques would still exist. I think newspapers would be still around. Right. I don't think we'd lose that form of media at all right now. They're pretty much on the verge of decline. Yeah, like, sorry, alive. not on the verge of decline, but at the end of their their phase, right? Like yeah, actual yeah, physical newspapers, right? And magazines. Yeah. Right? They're pretty much basically dead. Like only few folks. Like we have online, either. like, versions of them, right? All yeah. the 
news everything went digital moved online yeah. yeah um so i think still film critics would still exist I, I think that whole like set of jobs would still be a thing but i mean like public forums on these things right so when you go to see a movie you you'll you'll see like your average like rotten tomatoes just embargo of reviews right uh, sorry, not embargo, um, but like your whole like set of reviews from like actual top critics. But then you'll also see all over Instagram, all over Twitter, people's thoughts on the movies. Um, spoilers would be a big thing that you wouldn't get to very easily or you, you wouldn't be um, exposed to nearly as easily. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I think definitely like that whole level of, you know, scrutiny would just completely deplete as well because like you said you know there wouldn't be a public like opinion that would be be able to be read by everyone they couldn't just hush people or stuff like that and not just that i also think a lot of jobs wouldn't be as like an individual wouldn't be able to get a job internationally as easily as they are now nowadays you could send out like a thousand cvs get a job in another country in a month or within like six months realistically you're already there in a new job, a new environment, everything. I think all that would have like depleted. Like, I... Okay. So on that topic, um, the private sector, how hard do you think that would get hit? The private sector? As in? Aside from jobs, right? How hard do you think businesses, right? That. Uh, I mean, businesses would always just like come and go. I think, right. Like take any company nowadays, like, there's continuous change, right? With like globalization since like what, mm -hmm. the eighties, like the 1990s or so. So I don't really think businesses would be hit so hard as in there wouldn't be in businesses. There would still be their businesses. The markets they would target would just be completely different. You wouldn't have these influencers, these online businesses being able to uh, flourish as much as they do now, right? But no other than just the impact it can imply on businesses itself right it could imply a lot on your daily life i would argue right like think about your life right now especially you right because you you're pretty like active on the internet and you use it a lot right mm -hmm. what would it what would it be like if you didn't have that ability oh i would be a way different kind of person i think honestly um I'd be a lot more outgoing, I guess, right? I'd like. Are <laughs> you going out, person... baby? Once yeah. a year, let's go. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Me, me going out a lot, right? Um, no, but like, absolutely. I like people. Like, I'd say introverts, especially, right? And I'd classify myself as one, right? Wouldn't have, um, the want or necessarily the the uh actually yeah just the want to stay at home nearly as much um or you'd see a lot less introverts i'd say um if you didn't have the internet around now given so what you're trying to blame you introverts have, on the internet existing no i would you. yes yes absolutely i would say that a lot of introverts exist because you have the internet because so you, you have the internet's like a comfort zone I'd say that it's not only a comfort zone, as I said before, I think it's a crutch, right? Okay. I'd say that a lot of antisocial, like, um, behaviors, yeah, behaviors kind of grow out of that, that you have, that you can instantly just poof, open up your phone and just be in a whole different world than, where than what's around you. Do you know what I mean? Right. But then again, a counter argument to the, all that could be okay but you still have other forms of entertainment or other forms of escape right you could like movies would have still existed without the internet right yeah, but what would tv would have still existed there? without it i'm sorry oh tvs would have still existed right? tvs yeah. would have still existed right books would have been i think a way bigger version of uh, sorry they, they would be a way bigger um source of entertainment for people i i reckon Right. So, right. So, besides just the actual physical impact of that, what do you think about mentally? Would it be a positive thing or a negative thing if the internet never went public? I have two opinions on that. I think it would be positive in the sense that, uh, like I said about the introverts thing, right? You would have a lot 
less population i think in my opinion right mm -hmm. uh that you'd have a lot less population of introverts you'd have a lot more outgoing people or people that wanted that want to socialize more right because yeah yeah reasons reasons already stated um but i also think that that could be seen in a different perspective where you can't interact with people from other countries nearly as well and so the there would be kind of like a, a more negative impact, I'd say, because a lot of stereotypes, I feel, and a lot of misconceptions about people from other countries kind of got dissipated or um, eliminated because the internet exists. Because you can see that people from other countries, other... Yeah, but there's like, always two sides to a coin, right? Some countries also got it worse because of like stereotypes and stuff like that. Like... Yeah. I mean, yes, but it, like in, in, in my perspective, I, I honestly think that, that that would just be the other side of the coin for me, right? Yeah, that you, sure. you wouldn't have that instant ability to like, uh, I don't know, on TikTok, you can see people from all different countries doing all different things, right? You can immediately uh, associate with them with what they're doing. Uh, the fact that they're human, just like you. Right, you you have a real big source of empathy towards them, right? So, what you like think you, your mental state yourself would be better or worse? Uh, I think I'd be a different person, and I can't. I wouldn't know yeah, if I'd be better or right? worse. Like, are you gonna be right? A giga chat? Or I something, or <laughs> I don't know if I'd be <laughs> giga chat. I know for sure I'd have way different interests. Well, I'd say that for sure. Be. Uh, I know that video games wouldn't necessarily be nearly as big of a, uh, an impact on my life. I mean, right. Majority of your younger years, right. You played a lot more single player games than you did multiplayer. Right. But there was a point where I just stopped playing video games all, all, all together. So when, around, when in your so, life. So, so here's the thing. I stopped playing video games around, I want to say right after the like Roblox Minecraft era, because I actually got friends in school. I like I was, I was in a proper was. friend group. Sorry. When was that again? Like twenty fourteen. I know around the sixth, sixth or seventh grade. Ah, uh, whatever. Right. A while back. I yeah. I stopped playing games for a couple of years, completely. Right. Um. So you're and, still not really answering the question. Do you think it would have a better or worse impact on your mental health? I think, honestly, it would have a better impact because I wouldn't see video games as a thing to fall back on. I wouldn't see things on the internet like other forms of entertainment as a thing to fall back on as opposed to socializing. Because, I mean... So why don't you turn off your internet now and then if you feel that way? Because just, just it, how the, the 21st century the has, side. okay, just because how the 21st century has evolved and influenced me as a person, I would say that I'm addicted to it. So you'd argue you've developed an addiction now. You can't rely I without opening your phone. Or opening I your have, computer. yes, I have developed an addiction that pretty much, I would say the majority of people that own a smartphone would have. Yeah, but wouldn't you no. also classify this as a bit of a, like, it, of course it's hypothetical, but you're only assuming the positives of ha having the internet. It's kind of that, like, uh, like theory of, like, the grass is always greener on the other side. You know, like, people think, once I do this, or if I did that, you know, it would have been different. I would have had it better. Now, do you think the grass would have really been different on the other side? Do you think if the internet never went public, you would be this person that's outgoing, loving I life? don't think I'd be nearly as lazy. I think. So, honestly, like I work wouldn't ethic? be nearly as lazy. Work ethic would be a little bit better. I, I don't think my work ethic is necessarily bad. Because mm -hmm. even though I'm, I procrastinate a lot, even though I yeah, we get our stuff things, done. still get everything we done. I'm stuff. not a person to yeah. always just put it off and absolutely not do it at all. Um, still get work done hey we um, wouldn't be friends if either of us were like that absolutely honest. yeah yeah because this would not have existed okay that, i'm gonna ask you the exact same question by the way About... do you think 
that not having the internet around would have a positive or negative negative impact on you and i'm talking both mentally physically and in your personality as well to be honest i think when i was younger potentially right i think now the internet is a means for me to actually be able to do something with my life you know it, it has the ability for me to create even content like this right it's something that i could use as a stepping stone into doing what i actually want to do in my life right mm -hmm. but when i was younger probably because you know I, I was i was pretty chill in school and all like that but i think more of it's just it kind of clouds your like natural like way of progressing in life because you kind of get obsessed with like internet and the fashion trends the games that are out the things here you kind of develop either too quickly or too slow compared to what you generally would and i notice this a lot in my sisters right like they're like 15 now right and the stuff they know and the stuff they're interested in stuff they do now i wouldn't even have known about if it wasn't like for the internet i would have still mm -hmm. like back then right stuff they know now even my other sister at 13 I didn't know until like 16, 17, even later, right? So I think the internet is kind of, you can see this a lot online as well. And you can see this generally affect all cultures. Like the internet allows an individual to kind of progress too quickly. So they forget a lot of the essentials that you kind of have to learn through trial and error, right? Okay. So I feel for me back in the day, I would have had a better influence, but now, no. Also mentally, I think, there was a time in my life where it did negatively affect my mentally, like mental awareness is a big thing. And I believe in that. Right. Mm -hmm. But for me now it's a way, especially cause we're thinking if it didn't exist, if it didn't exist, to be honest, I would be parting a lot more. I would be, you know, probably like just, we would never have been friends to begin with. Right. I, think mentally so I don't you're, know, you're if, saying that i'm holding you back from partying <laughs> no i'm saying if i didn't evolve in the way i did due to the internet like mentally uh -huh. right become a mentally like aware of myself and you know what i do and don't we wouldn't have been even come like came in contact i'm just using us as an example right mm -hmm. so i think the internet itself kind of allowed me to matures in my ways of thinking so i think it definitely has affected me positively but still I, I can't really say if i would have been do you think better. you'd be a very different person to what you are right now uh or do you think you'd extent, rather yes no i be... think i'd be different i wouldn't be as smart as i am now i know that sounds like very arrogant and all but i would not be as like worldwide as mm -hmm. i think i am right so I, I definitely think i would have been way more like so you don't think you'd be the kind of person that would go to over to a library and actually look up what you need you'd be too lazy to do that yeah just because no. you don't have it at the tip of your fingers you know, i know for sure i wouldn't no more of just because i wouldn't have built that self need in my head that i need mm -hmm. to do that yeah i would have just been like yeah whatever where's the next party at what's the next thing you know let's just continue living life till eventually you know you've done nothing of your life and you kind of just recycle so I think it's kind of helped me, you know, but I, I don't think, you know, it would have been as drastic as all of a sudden, you know, like you just become a giga Chad, like a Reeb. I would become like a, a giga Chad. Yeah. I would, I, sure. I honestly think I would be taking much better care of my physical health though. De I mean, like probably dead ass, you wouldn't I be in think I would. All time. Yeah. yeah, but you can't really blame that on the internet. That's just yourself, like importance you put on it, right? Yeah, uh, I, I mean that's that's true as well, right? You need a load of discipline in that, and we've seen time and time again that I obviously don't have that. Right? It's coming in time. I think maturity. Slowly, yeah, up. it is something yeah. to build. But yeah, point is that I think that the internet has influenced me to the point that um, that discipline is harder to to gain because it's I so mean, much easier for that. me to do yeah. things on the internet, right? Like. I could be sitting around and be like, okay, I could work out, but I could also, you know, run a couple matches of Apex or like sit around and play like, I don't know, yeah. some of the games. You know what I mean? Or watch something on YouTube. Yeah, but I think, yeah, physically it would have been like maybe like more disciplined in that way just because you were forced to work, right? But 
would you necessarily be a harder worker? That's kind of a different question, right? Because you might would I be, be a harder worker. So yeah. now we're not necessarily talking. Are we still talking about discipline then? Yes, because discipline is like you decide to work and then you have okay. that discipline to continuously. Because um, I would argue. I definitely think I'd get to work faster. Um, just because I would have a lot less things to do. I mean, yeah. that is un, un, like given That's assuming that. assuming you're not going out and stuff like that. Yeah, assuming that I don't go out, assuming that I don't get addicted to other forms of yeah. entertainment like TV. Or we, we saw in like Canada movies. and stuff. Like when you get into a friend group and like that, you kind of get addicted to going out and all that, right? So yeah, would I that mean, that's true. Would be beneficial to you physically maybe, right? But would it be good for you in doing what you want in life, do you think that would be? To be honest, I'm not old enough to answer that question. I don't think I have nearly okay, as much Graham experience Scott, on bro, my belt. Your hairline's already going back. What do you mean you're not old enough? Bro? And now like, you're just attacking me. Like, what's the, <laughs> like, what even? Like, no. f- you. <laughs> attacking my hairline, standing up there in the f-ing look- f-ing clouds. <laughs> Who the f- do you think you are? <laughs> B to the B, Brendan. Well, go to hillbilly uh, mother. Hey, good talk. Hacking my <laughs> hair, Len. Look at this. Look at this. I got hair. I'm good. Yeah, it's all went to the back. <laughs> uh, anything? Definitely, else I can say it? this. Right? I definitely, I can say this. If the internet wasn't around i'd be in a way better position position to beat you <laughs> i would <laughs> beat your i swear right now i'm not gonna lie a little too chubby for that right <laughs> but i i be you know what it. i would be a giga chad i yeah. agree i'm right man <laughs> uh no anything else you wanna balls on you. That? no i honestly think yeah honestly that's that's pretty much it the only other thing that i would say would be that i guess in entertainment would be a lot more just like they focused would be like... yeah it would be a lot yeah more but also you wouldn't have the same amount of adrenaline right because like we've kind of lost like back in the day right you didn't have internet or say you don't have internet now our attention span would be longer Therefore, we'd also get more. So you think the internet has that. specific, ha, like, has a specific impact on our attention span? You oh don't yeah. Think definitely. like anything else would have changed that? No, attention okay. span. No. Yeah, I, I think mean, the whole that, time, like, boom, 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 boom. I, I would boom. actually agree with that. Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. That's pretty much the thoughts I, I always had them. You know. Hmm. All right. I think that's a it's a good place to that's call a it talk. a night. Yeah. Um, uh, morning for me, but yeah. And if well, it's it's nighttime over here, and that's what we're gonna go with. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, and if uh, you guys have anything that you guys wanted to add yeah. into the conversation, please yeah, us hit your, us up in the comments. Your comment. Yeah. Or if you uh, thought this talk was a uh, you know beneficial, dare I say it? Drop a like, maybe subscribe. You know. Yeah. This content's only hope, gonna get better. I yeah. hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See that? You see that what I'm doing? Boom. I think that's just a weird shot. I, I don't know who you think you are. <laughs> <laughs>